many people in one head. <laughs> we myself and I drive us all crazy. You know, if you want to get deep. I wonder which one is which, right? Which, the me, myself, and I. Like, is the myself I'm thinking which one would myself be maybe this question's too deep for me it is early in the morning 7.48 I'm on my way to work it's Friday December 3rd. Um, I look really pale today. But it's, it's probably just me. I don't have the sun beaming in my face this morning. It's a beautiful overcast. It's a cloudy day. It's been raining a lot lately, which is actually what I grew up being used to, and I kind of miss it, and I kind of like it. Yeah, there's been flooding and shit like that, but that's all a part of it. Just don't live in a flood zone. <laughs> and it sucks when you're driving on the freeway, too, but I've been doing that since I was... driving without a driver's license <laughs> um, and taking my aunt's car when she was out of town when she didn't know speeding like 85 miles per hour on the freeway super dangerous and um, irresponsible you know like all teenagers are if I could only have the lack of fear and courage that I used to have
like another journey, right? And as my adult mind kind of started setting in and responsibilities set in, I continued being super positive for a while, even in the midst of like very negative, abusive, uh, manipulative relationships. <laughs> and that's probably what got me through a lot of that. But also having like some verbally abusive or negative relationships with other family members um, contributed to, I want to say the weight, the weight that I started carrying throughout life and all the negative things that people have said and shit like that, right? I've always been really good at just brushing it off. Not 100% though, right? So I'm thinking back and I'm like, as I got older, it affected me in different ways than when I was younger, right? So now my my eye is opening wider, right? And this so magical way of being creative and ignoring things was all a facade or a, um, an act that I would play to get through the bad days or the emotions because different, not feeling like I completely fit in my whole life, but just playing the role like it didn't bother me. And it used to. It doesn't bother me now. You know, I've like, I feel like maybe I've played that role so long that I, I'm living it. <laughs> I'm living the role that I made up in my mind, which isn't a bad thing because it wasn't a really negative role. It was a pretty optimistic, empowering role that I created. <laughs> but um, as a child, it it was confusing. It would be a little frustrating, but I didn't have my voice yet, so I couldn't really speak up, and I didn't have the words, and I couldn't understand a lot of things so it was harder to make sense of and when I talk about my past the way I remember my past and the way other people remember it are completely different which means every single one of our childhood realities is different depending on who you're asking which makes things even more complicated right I said I wasn't gonna get deep <laughs> but it's really hard for me not to dive deep into my mind. It is. I stop myself a lot. So if you ever talk to me in person or we ever get a chance to hang out and there's a lot of pausing. Um, either I'm one, totally forgetting what I'm talking about and spacing out. Because I'm all cloudy with this um, autoimmune crap that I'm dealing with or just overstressed too much on my mind, right? Um, so it's blocking everything out. Or, there's so much going through my mind and so much that I want to say on the topic, but I don't have the energy to get into that conversation. So, you'll see me pause and then maybe not say a whole lot, right? Reflect. Maybe I'll say something that doesn't make any fucking sense, okay? And that's my way of trying to say something without saying too much, and now I've said something that doesn't make any fucking sense, and I don't feel like explaining myself, so I just go with it and ignore it, act like I never said it, or um, just let you deal with it. <laughs> In a lot of cases, that makes things really awkward for other people, and I'm used to it, so I don't even care. <laughs> so, <laughs> FYI, if you meet me, there's going to be awkward moments. I know. And you should know. And we're going to get through it. <laughs> I really don't have anything to really talk about right now. I'm just letting my mind wander. 
because I do, but the fact that I actually am recording this in the morning and I'm talking is a good thing. <laughs> it's a good thing. That means I'm having a good day so far. I'm talking.